Hey YouTube, just got another update for the Model X. Um, this is that minor update that we thought was coming with the new version 9 software. But navigate on autopilot. Uh, this is in beta, obviously. Uh, so it allows you to have the option to press navigate on autopilot button located in your navigation turn list. So this will basically um, change lanes for you on the interstate. When you're going on a long trip, it'll get you uh, in the correct lane to if you're transitioning from interstate to interstate. Um, and then it also has a setting in here. You can adjust how aggressive Navigate on Autopilot makes lane changes. So they're calling it speed-based lane changes. And then so you have uh, some options there that we're going to dive into. Uh, what they also added was is um, viewing applications with the media player open. And so basically what that is allowing is it's allowing the split screen that um, us of us, those of us uh, with the Model X or the Model S with the portrait um, screen orientation versus the Model 3 with the landscape orientation, it allows you to do um, two applications at the same time. So we'll look at that briefly real quick. And so right here you can see that the media player is down here and now those of you that saw the version 9 the last video I did um, showing the one screen at the bottom where you basically go through the other apps um, this is a now allowing you to do multiple um, like your media at the bottom and then one other app so you can't do uh, you know energy at the bottom and then you um, you know the camera on the top or vice versa this is always the media is always on the bottom um, a, a neat feature that they added was you can actually click here and drag down if you want the uh, media player in kind of the condensed mode down here at the bottom you can actually drag it down so it's not um, all the way up here and you can still see some part of your navigation um, so if you swipe all the way down then it kind of gets rid of everything so if we click the media player here um, and then a cool feature is uh, rather than going back clicking here and then back to the camera if you wanted the camera if your camera was the last one that was up then all you have to do is tap here and just slide up and the camera will slide right up so that works um, with the media player closed so you can just slide right back up um, and then obviously it'll be down here versus up here um, and then so that would also work let's say if we have the energy app up um, and the media player up you can see how one tap on there will bring the media player up in a smaller uh, frame a second tap oh, oh I, I guess that just uh, the only way to get it bigger is um, is to slide it up but then again you can slide down here and that'll bring everything down but uh, so since our energy app was the last one up um, all you do is swipe up and then it'll bring up energy that's great I mean definitely a nice feature when you're driving and you don't want to be like you know even though this is a small menu you're still clicking and then tapping through a menu versus if you know if your camera was up then last and you close it then you know all you have to do is tap there and swipe up it makes it a lot easier so as you can see there when the camera was up and I went back to energy um, all it did was replace it so that goes back to what I was saying how this media uh, or your video or I'm sorry your audio player stays at the bottom no matter what so you, there's no way to flip-flop that but it is nice that they added that option for um, those of us who like driving with the uh, rear camera on like I do I've grown accustomed to it so it was nice that they kind of changed it back but still has the new layout as you can see around the edges where the navigation um, is still overlay on top of the navigation. Um, so I want to dive real quick into the new setting with the autopilot. So navigate on autopilot um, in beta. So we'll turn it off and then so that's underneath the auto steer. So under the autopilot uh, you can the auto steer is what everybody's used to that's where it kind of you know drives by itself but the navigate on autopilot is new with this update so when we turn it on it kind of gives us this disclaimer like your car is not autonomous you know make sure you're staying in control similar to the auto steer option so do you want to enable it we'll click yes 
and so that allows us to enable it. Um, so if you customize, that brings up this speed-based lane change option. So where we can have, um, if you hit the little eye there, it'll show. Navigate on autopilot can be customized to your preference, including four settings for speed-based lane changes, mild, average, or Mad Max. So basically, Mad Max, I think, is going to make aggressive lane changes automatically um, when you have this enabled. And then, so again, in the release notes, you can see, um, if you rewind the video and pause it, that it's basically when you're in navigation um, and you have a, you know, let's say, a navigation up and a route up, then it's going to give you an option. Once you're on the interstate, like a, a major thoroughfare, once you're on the interstate, that's when you're going to see the um, speed-based or the navigate on autopilot option. And then so that's when you would click it. Um, I'll try to do a video of it. I'm not planning on uh, going too far anytime soon, but uh, I'll try to get a video of the navigate on autopilot for you guys. Um, but that's it, you know, very minor update, a couple tweaks to the new version 9 uh, software. I hope you guys liked this video, if you did. Like maybe this lady was trying to photo on my video. Um, <laughs> walking right behind the car. I hope you guys liked this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.